Hello again and welcome back to the car mat. <clears throat> right, I did put a trick up the other day which was my thorough practice. Nice little trick putting the deck into order by doing a couple of thorough shuffles. I did say in that if you wanted to know the method I use to work tricks out like that I would show you. Not one person has asked so is it all either very clever, very shy or just don't care basically yeah but i thought i'd bring it to you anyway because i think it's a great method first thing you do is set your deck out ace to king ace to king ace to king ace to king any suits you want i like doing it in chased order because i find that easier to remember right so clubs hearts spades and diamonds right ace to king in each of your suits that's your first step You then get a piece of paper and you draw a nice graph on it like this, or chart if you like. And what, or whatever order you put your suits in, write them down in order that way. Mine's in chased, so it's clubs, hearts, spades and diamonds. Then along the top you want the ace, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, all the way up to the king. Right? Right at the end up here, obviously. <clears throat> so that is the position of every card in that packet at the moment. Top card, second card, third card, fourth card, blah, blah, blah. Very last card is your king of diamonds. At the end, just write in 1 to 13. Because you know that's all that's in that row. Number 1 to number 13. Your second row, 14 to 26. Your third row, 27 to 39. Your last row, 40 to 52. Right, so when you get... Well, you'll understand, you'll understand in a minute, right? So you get that and you put that to one side then with your deck set up in this order you do whatever um deals shuffles you want to mix the the deck up basically yeah if you see what i mean you go through the trick that you're going to be doing with all the different cuts and shuffles in and that will tell you what order you need to pack in to start with at the start you see to make it easy, I'll just do a very simple one. I'll just deal six piles, as you can see. I'll try and get through it as quick as I can, because I know this is one of the boring parts. And you don't have to do this with a full deck setup. If you just want to manoeuvre one card from one position to another, right? obviously you'd have to know... Um, In advance what card you wanted and where it was going to go in the pack you couldn't work this out on the spot right so i've just dealt them into six packets i'll now pick up um packet five no i won't i'll pick up packet one and put it onto packet five i'll pick up three and i'll put it onto four i'll pick up six and put it onto two i'll then put the one in four onto the one in five and put that onto the one in two right and that has mixed me deck up. As you can see, it is no longer Ace to King in all the suits, right? Now. Here we go. Oh dear. I'm trying to pick it up. I'm throwing the papers everywhere. The bend down, pick up off the bloody floor. Can you clip on that? Thank you. Right. Now, you know when you started you set up, uh, when you started to shuffle, the cards were in Ace of King or the Club's Heart Spades. So the first card represents the Ace of Clubs, basically. And it comes out as the Queen of Diamonds, right? So where it's got the Ace of Clubs, writing Queen of Diamonds just helps you remember in case you mess up at the end, right? And then you work out what number the Queen of Diamonds is in. Well, the Queen of Diamonds is all the way up here, isn't it? There's the Queen. And the last row is the Diamonds. So you know it's one less than 52. So you know the Queen of Diamonds is 51. So you write 51 in there. That's now telling you that that Ace of Clubs needs to be in 51st position for it to end up on, back on the top of the packet, if you see what I mean. Second card's the Six of Diamonds. And that comes in. Easy way to remember that. You got that up to 39, right, for the end of the spades. You know the Diamonds is next. 39 plus 6, 45. 
she knew the ace of, uh, the two of clubs needed to be in the 45th position or where the six of clubs was yeah king of spades easy 39 king of spades is in 39th position seven of spades is um, 26 plus 7 is 33 so the seven of spades is in 33rd position now as i say write down what card it is because sometimes you might write down the wrong card and then you'll come across that card a bit further on and you think hang on and so instead of just looking at numbers you know what card you're looking for if you see what i mean right i'll speed on and get this sorted and i'll come back because you know what i'm doing now don't you Ace of Spades, and that's in uh, 27th position. So the Ace of Clubs needs to be, well, I put Ace of Clubs, it's the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades needs, needs to be in 20, is in 27th position. So the Five of Clubs, sorry, needs to be in 27th position for it to come out as the Five of Clubs when you're doing the thing. I'll come back in and I'll just fill this in and I'll come back, okay. Right, I hope you're not getting too bored. It's taking a bit longer than I thought. I'm only halfway at the moment, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, once you've written it all out, the order that that deck ends up in, you should have um, every card accounted for, numbered 1 to 52, right? Now, that's the big clue. Whatever card is in number 1 position, in this case, it's the Ace of Spades, that's got to be your top card to start off with. So what you do is you look through your packet and you get out your ace of spades. There. That's in number one. Cross that one out. Now you need to find number two. The two of, number two's down there. That's in the king of diamonds. Right, so at the king of diamonds I've got the second card. And there it is. Then you look for number three. Um, and that's up here, that's the nine of clubs. So you know your third card needs to be the nine of clubs. I hope this isn't too confusing. There it is. Yes. Card number four is there. That's the five of hearts. So I need the five of hearts next. That's my fifth card from the top. Four of clubs, we've had five of dime. Number four. One, two, three, four, five of hearts. Yeah, I am right. I'm seeing things. Um, and you go through, you find out, find number five, get that out, number six, number seven, all the way through till you get to number 52, which is. The, the Ten of Clubs, that's the, the very last card you should have on the top of your packet, yeah, 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 so you do, so what I'll do is I'll do this into that and uh, do, yeah, and then I'll come back. Right, I should have said you find the numbers and write the cards down corresponding. So number one is the Ace of Spades, write down Ace of Spades. Number two is the King of Diamonds, write down the King of Diamonds. Number three is the Nine of Clubs. Number four is the Five of Hearts. And so on and so on, all the way through until you've got a new order for your cards. Right, and then you put the deck following that so it matches it perfectly. As you can see, we've got the Ace of Spades, the King of Diamonds, the Nine of Clubs, the Five of Hearts, the Nine of Spades, the Four of Diamonds, the King of Hearts, all the way through. Exactly the way that's written down, right? Then you can do your little whatever you were doing, right? I done six piles, didn't I? So then I'll deal down the six piles, and you did see there then that that pack was mixed up didn't you did i show you that i don't know if i did hopefully i am not mixing these up picking them back up again 
Well, you've just seen the order, didn't you? Yeah, you did. I've just shown you the order. They are all mixed up. Spectators look at them and they are mixed up. I'll deal me six packets. You could do whatever you want to, whether you want to do false shuffles. Uh, but not false shuffles, but controlled shuffles. Like the Faro shuffle. Um, you could even do an, an overhand type shuffle as long as it's done to a set number each time like first time you're taking seven off the, seven cards from the top then you take nine cards from the top and you take three cards from the top just so you're mixing it up in exactly the same way every time you do it right because then by repeating them actions you'll get the results that you require for whatever trick you're doing Right, now I put um, pile 1 onto pile 5, I put pile 3 onto 4, I did, I put 6 onto 2, I put 4 onto 5, and I put 5 onto 2. Right, now I've just done the exact same shuffle that i done at the start. When I had it all in order, i done that shuffle, ended up with all them cards. From that, worked out what positions to put the cards in. Just done the shuffle again with the cards in that order, and it brings the cards back to the way you wanted them to be for the end of whatever you were doing, whether not you wanted it to be the nice display of all cards in order, or you just want to use it for controlling one card or four cards, the four aces. More paper on the floor. If you wanted to control your four aces so that they ended up on the top of the packet after doing that. You put your first ace in the 51st position, your second ace in the 45th, your third ace in the 39th, and your fourth ace in the 33rd. And that way, once you've done that little shuffle again, they come out one, two, three, and four on the top. Or if you had a spectator pick a card, and um, you, you're going to try and find it by a number, but you know what number is going to be getting forced or whatever. So say they, let's see, I'll turn this this way. Say you wanted a card to end up in 8th place after you've done the shuffle. For some unknown reason to you, it needs to end up in 8th place, right? You'd know for it to end up in 8th place, it'd have to be the ninth card. Would it? No. Into if you want it into or yeah, if you want it to end up into eighth place, look for where you've got it down your number eight. It was here a minute ago, I swear it was. There it is there. Eight of clubs. Um sorry, the Queen of Diamonds. So if you wanted their card to come out into the eighth place from the top. I've got an unshuffled packet here. This is all, well, a shuffle packet. And I'll just show you what I mean. So you want it to go into 8th place. Okay. So, spectator will pick a packet. And this is again using that same shuffle. Right. So, a spectator will pick a card. It would be the 10 of hearts. Because you you know it's got to be in the where the queen of diamonds was. It's got to be in 51st position. Right, second from the bottom. Right, that's where the number eight should be. So you'd work the card, whatever way you want to, to the bottom, and then control it to being second to bottom. Right, so there, ten of hearts is now second to bottom. And then again, if I just do this little deal, so the ten of hearts, they've just picked, they just lost it into the packet. Control it down to second to bottom position. Then you go ahead and do this bizarre mixing up of the packets. Yeah. One onto five, three onto four, two onto six, four onto five, and all that onto there. Now by doing, well, there we go. It's controlled their cards exactly where you wanted it to. 
So it, it's useful for a number of things. It's up to your own imagination. It is. There was something else. It'll come to me after I finish the video. There's something else I was going to tell you about it. Oh, my brain's getting old. It's getting haggled. Anyway, so that's basically how you work it out. I'm going to say you can position cards here, there, and anyway. You can, as long as you know where you want it to go beforehand. I mean, yeah, that was what I was going to say. Once you've written this out, once you've drawn your grid with your suits down and the aces to the top and you want a 13 or 14 or 40 to 52 and all that down there with just blank blank squares, right? Stick some sticky back plastic over it and get a dry marker. Yeah, because then you can write them in. And then once you've done, if you want to do a different one, you can get rid of it. Restart it so you're having tons of paper lying around like this, which I've got all over the floor right at this moment. Anyway, I want to shut up because I've bored you for long enough. Uh, I know you didn't want to see it, but I hope you, yeah, get on, get, do your own tricks. Come on, guys. Uh, I'll see you again soon.